changing. You just can't go a fucking week without complaining, right? One, I haven't complained in a while, so I think it's it's due time, right? You can't go a week without 2K fucking some shit up. And they fucked up big time. Nobody's talking about this. They know what's happening. We know what's... Why are we accepting bullshit? <laughs> Yo, the amount of messages I get on Twitter on a daily basis of people letting me know their player corrupted is crazy. I need some answers, man. This isn't regular. I play a lot of other games, and I'm telling you, I don't hop on Rainbow Six and my players just corrupt. My game files don't just corrupt. I don't hop on Watch Dogs and my story mode progress, it isn't just corrupt. It is, that doesn't happen. Every game I go on, I don't have to worry about my player being corrupted. Ever. Like, ever. About a week ago, it got out of control. 2K servers were down. They were being attacked by one of those fucking DDoS groups. And during the process, it was a huge chance that if you logged on, that your player was going to be corrupted. And so a lot of people are hopping on now, and they're being like, yo, the player I work for is fucking gone. One, I can't do anything about that, so stop tweeting it at me. Two, why don't y'all have your player saved on a USB? Man, what are y'all doing? Y'all already know 2K is fucking a goose, all right? That's, that's Toronto slang for fucking up. It's not Toronto slang, it's agent slang. I made that shit up on the spot. 2K's been fucking a goose since the game launched, all right? Y'all should already know better than to trust 2K with your game saves. I put that bitch on a USB. Y'all remember when I was playing the prelude and I was trying to delete the prelude and re-download the prelude? So that I can, uh, so I can actually play it again. I get some gameplay so I can upload some shit. Literally in that process, I was trying so hard to delete my game save files so that I can hop back on 2K with a completely new player. And every time I deleted my local game saves, every time it connected with the servers, the servers were like, no, we got it right here, bitch. You're trying to trick us. So 2K, you're telling me you have what it took to stop people from playing the prelude twice unless they went on a completely different account. But you don't have what it takes to make sure their files don't corrupt? Like when you're playing Rainbow Six, you buy a weapon, but if the shit doesn't work out, it's like, all right, you can move on. But when it comes to 2K, we don't, we fucking invested hours trying to grind for the badges. We got 95 overall player, 2K. And I don't give a fuck what the reason is. There is literally no excuse for it. No excuse. You know when you hand an assignment in late and you try and look for every excuse in the book and your teacher's like, uh, doctor's note? Do you have a doctor's note? Well, in this case, unless there was a natural disaster that prevented you from being at a computer when, when you were developing the game, is there's no excuse for the players just going missing. Now, there have been some reported cases I've been hearing of people that have lost their players and then later down the road, it randomly came back. And I'm sure this has happened to you before. I was trying to skip the cutscene and my my whole game just crashed. They're like, Agent, you're gonna wanna sit through this cutscene, all right? And I tried skipping a second time, game crash. Third time, game crash. I was like, fourth time, fuck it. I'm gonna sit through this boring ass cutscene and then it, it eventually ended up working. But during the process, all the names for the game save files kind of just wiped out. I thought I lost my players. Trust me, I would've lost my mind. Yo, y'all don't know the type of roast that'd be coming if I ever lost my 95 overall sharpshooter. I would fight everybody. I would fight you. I would fight everyone in my sight. Like, it would be a beef because I spent too much time grinding for those badges for it to get fucked up. All right, it's exam season. I'm not, I can't be out here making a new player, grinding all over again. That's crazy. And the crazy part is, is like when you play 2K, unlike other games, you're spending so much on microtransactions a lot of the time. Now, some of y'all be letting me know, agent, I don't spend shit on. Okay, that's you, bitch. If you have four or five different archetypes and you haven't spent anything on microtransactions, you're either phenomenal on anti-up or you're lying. It's one of the two. Because if you're not grinding on the anti-up, there's no serious way to make VC anymore. And those are the best of the best players. If you're not one of them, then you're out of luck. 2K, if you're going to sit here and try and fucking choke us for all the fucking VC we have, all the money we have, you're trying to get these microtransactions. Can we at least expect that our players, when we hop on, won't get corrupted. It's a simple thing to ask. Yo, I'm serious. If you have PS Plus, which you're playing online, you probably do. Hop on the account that has PS Plus and upload your game save files in case something happens. And then don't even, uh, yo, in fact, if I was you, I'd just download the shit to a USB. Plug your USB in, go over your game save application data, and just download it onto your USB. That's what I did. See, the thing is, is I don't even know if that's gonna work, but it's better than not trying. Because remember the prelude story I told you guys? I tried to leading the local game saves. But it, it wasn't my local stuff that was the problem. 2K has that shit saved on their fucking servers. So when it connects, 2K's like, yo, why aren't the game saves on your PS4? Are you trying to fuck with us? And then they download the game saves back to your PS4. That's what they kept doing to me on the prelude. So I'm not even really sure if downloading it to your USB would work because once it connects with 2K, if the shit is corrupted on 2K's end, there might be nothing you can do about it. It's part of the same reason why I can't save a game save from Too Cool, Waffleman, or any of my friends' accounts hop on my account 
and then upload that bitch and then just have their shot creator or have their slasher. I can't I can't just duplicate their players likely because I'm not exactly entirely sure. I'm just saying it, there's, there's a lot of gray area. But be on the safe side, man. Trust me. I'm getting these men. I know some y'all be thinking agent. All right. Hasn't happened to me yet. But when it does, you're gonna wanna sell your game, all right? And I, it's just so rage-inducing, to be honest with you, man. I hopped on today, and I saw park card advertisements. Like, are we fucking done? Y'all destroyed my team, trying to monetize the fuck out of it. Like, it doesn't make sense to me, because I'm a sport management major, I'm in my third year of university, a lot of y'all know that. And when we learn about business, well, we're learning like, yo, you want to pay attention to your audience. You want to do, you want to make sure you get your money, monetize as many platforms as you can. Is why when you watch a sport game, is they have naming right ads like you, the TD Garden in Boston. Like every, there's naming rights all over the place. You hop in an arena, there's corporate sponsor logos everywhere. TV's gonna broadcast it. Everybody's making money. I understand the need to make money. Don't think I'm overlooking that. But when the publisher 2K sees that something's working with my team and people are buying packs, they turn around onto park and they're like yo if park is the most played game mode how come we're not monetizing this this might be a whole new video but they're really close to fucking up the park with these park cards they're just finding new ways to take money from us and it's literally and no exaggeration no hyperbole this shit is out of control because if you're gonna take us for all we've got it didn't make sense for you to at least hold up your end of the bargain i was playing anti up last night lagging as a motherfucker yo i vc is on the line and the server is still fucking trash, yo. Did you know about the Paul George loading screen glitch? There are people that have to sit on the Paul George loading screen for some up to like 10 minutes. I've seen longer than that because you boot up the game and this shit just doesn't fucking start. And there's some fixes to it. Some people are like, delete your game, add it back. There's, there's a bunch of people that think they know what a fucking fix is. But when I play other games, I don't have to worry about the game not booting up. That's never a problem for me. The only time I've had that problem is on Steam where I downloaded Fallout 3 and this shit still hasn't fucking loaded up for me. I bought it and I haven't played it. It doesn't make sense, people. There's a lot of stuff here that doesn't make sense. And if you think the servers are bad now, whoa, wait till those Christmas guys get on and the servers get flooded. Oh, wow. Guys, the only reason the servers have subsided, it was part of it was Patch 7. Shout out to Patch 7 for fucking up the Prime servers but improving the park shit. Like, Prime was never laggy for me up until Pack 7, and then now I'm lagging on Prime. But on the park side, it got a lot better. And those Christmas guys are gonna get on. And when they start to flood, oh, and you know the you know the DDoS attacks are coming, man. When it's Christmas, those hackers, not even hackers, it's not really hacking. All they do is, they're gonna DDoS the fuck out of whatever console you play on, I know that. Which is also confusing because I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, somebody told me that 2K is putting the Mountain Dew Challenge on the 25th, which, like, it's Christmas. All right, who's gonna be playing 2k? I guess some people would but I mean no one's playing Mount <laughs> Oh fuck man Why are y'all always putting the big events like park after dark on on Thanksgiving weekend like yo You don't think anybody has better things to do y'all put the biggest park event of the year on a weekend Where people are spending time with their family <laughs> like who the fuck is making these business decisions, man? So much of this shit doesn't make any sense to me. It's actually confusing because you, like, you'd like to think that, yo, they're professionals. Like, they should know what they're doing. Like, I would like to think that. But too many times in my life, I've seen a fucking professional, whether it's a general manager for an NBA team or it's a CEO for a big business, just do something so stupid. You're like, yo. Did you pass elementary school? Now, it's not one of those cases right now, but I'm telling you, it, it might get to that level. I don't get the point of this video. I don't know why I'm... This video... Okay, yo, go ahead and save your player on the USB. I think that's what I was trying to say. 2K, it doesn't come across well when you can't fucking hold up your side of the bargain. People are paying money for the game. On top of that, paying money for microtransactions. Because if you want to be competitive now... You don't have much of a choice. I mean, the choice you have is you can drop out of school or or quit your job and you can no-life the game. That's the alternative to not paying money. And to a lot of people, that's unreasonable. That's ridiculous. Like, y'all dropped the fucking Pro-Am tournament the first qualifying day on New Year's Eve. You don't think that people have shit to do on that day? So first park after dark is on Thanksgiving. I, from what I've heard, I don't know if it's true or not yet, but I'm, I'm hearing that the, cause you don't really know. The park events switch up day to day. There's no one fucking website you can go to be like, I don't know what park events. You just have to load up 2K and see 
Oh, okay. Just, okay, okay. You just have to find out on that day. Or hopefully LD or somebody tweets about it. You don't know. So let's just say they put the Mountain Dew thing on the 25th. And then the first qualifier for the Prime Tournament. Which, by the way, oh my god. I'm going to have an amazing video out about that. It's going to get me in some trouble. But it's going to be amazing. And it's on the 31st. This... <laughs> 2K, you, I promise some of them just, they sit there like, oh, they probably, they probably just wake up and play 2K and go back to sleep. They don't have school, they don't have work, they don't have families, they, they don't have nothing. Their life, you think everybody is no life in this game? <laughs> Yo, it's so crazy, man. I'm sure y'all have at, at some point been playing 2K, seen them make like a suspect decision and just went, who the fuck thought of that one? But yo, every day I hop on, I promise you it feels a little different. Today I was on, and for the first time I was hitting greens from half court on the park. Uh, I was like, yo, I guess they tuned open shots again and didn't say anything about it. I'm telling you, every day it feels like a different game. And for people like me, I'm going to play the game more than some, a lot of y'all would. So for me, I'll pick up on the shit. But if you're just hopping on to play for an hour, because that's the only time you have in the day, because you got to go back to work or some shit, is you're not going to be able to, you're just going to hop on and be like, oh, guess I fucking suck. And you're going to log off before you really figure it out. Okay, there's really no point to this video. I'm going to end it here. There is. It's really just a rant. It's a conglomerate of things. It, because they've been fucking a lot of things up. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Uh, oh, yo, we got it, yo. Before New Year's, I got some bangers coming. Seriously. Exams are done tomorrow, so I'm gonna have a lot of time. Believe that. Yo, I can't even explain to y'all the crazy videos I have planned. And if I try to, no, I can't explain it. <laughs> y'all just gonna have to wait. I'll catch y'all later. <laughs> Peace.